Your pancreas is a long, slender organ that lies behind the stomach and intestines, near the spine. This delicate but vital gland is responsible for regulating your body's blood sugar with hormones, such as insulin, and for helping break down food with digestive enzymes. The pancreas is divided into four parts, the head, the neck, the body, and the tail. When cancer develops in the body or tail of the pancreas, your surgeon performs a distal pancreatectomy to remove the cancer. This surgery may also be used to remove pre-malignant masses within the pancreas. Before beginning a distal pancreatectomy, a patient is put under general anesthesia. Your surgeon will then make one or more incisions in the abdomen, depending upon the preferred approach, subcostal, midline, or through several small incisions, known as a laparoscopic or robot-assisted approach. The cancerous tissue in the tail or distal end of the pancreas is identified and removed. The spleen, an organ involved in filtering the blood and helping the immune system, shares its blood supply with the tail of the pancreas. This often necessitates the removal of the spleen, splenic artery, splenic vein, and overlying lymph nodes along with the tail of the pancreas. This is known as a distal pancreatectomy with splenectomy. This operation can also be done without removing the spleen for non-cancerous or pre-malignant masses. A distal pancreatectomy with splenectomy is usually very successful at eliminating cancer within the body or tail of the pancreas. It is a major operation that usually takes three to four hours. Most patients are fully recovered and back to daily routines within a week.